In this video, I'm going to look at the Arrhenius equation. So I'm going to take things right back to basics. So we'll start with this. If you increase the temperature for a reaction, you increase its rate. So if we take it to the next level, we've got this rate equation. This is just a generic rate equation on the board. If we change the temperature, the concentrations don't change. So if the temperature increases, the rate increases. So if the rate is increasing, then K must be increasing as well. So the Arrhenius equation links the rate constant K with temperature. So I've written the equation up for you on the board there and don't panic, it's on the data sheet so you don't have to memorize it. So I'm just going to go through what the different terms mean. So K is obviously the rate constant, the EA is the activation energy and the units of that are joules per mole. If you remember the units for rate constants can vary so I haven't specified the units here. T is obviously the temperature, but that must be in Kelvin. R is the gas constant, so again that's on the data sheet, 8.31 joules per Kelvin per mole. So you can see now why the units are important, because we've got joules. So we've got to have commonality in the units, we can't have kilojoules and joules. We've got Kelvin for temperature, so no Celsius at all. And finally, this capital A is what we call the pre-exponential factor. And it's basically just a constant. It's a number that goes before this exponential. And you can see I've written up, it's got the same units as K. And if we look at all of the units going around in this term here, they actually cancel out and you're left with the units of K being the same as the units as the A term. So essentially what we can use the Arrhenius equation for is we can use it to see or predict how this rate constant is going to change with the activation energy and we can also predict how the rate constant is going to change with the temperature. So we'll look at both of those separately now. So just as I did at the start, we're going to think about it in its very basic terms and then use the equation to prove what we're saying. So if we think about it, if you have a high activation energy, then that's going to inhibit a lot of the molecules from colliding successfully, give you a slow rate of reaction, and therefore you would have a correspondingly low rate constant. So why is that? Well, if we think EA is large, then this fraction term here has a larger number on the top than on the bottom, and therefore the fraction's getting bigger, which means that this power term is actually becoming a bigger negative number. So it's, the power's getting more negative, and so we're raising to a larger negative power, which gives us a lower value for K. Sometimes it's easy just to put some numbers in to illustrate that, so hopefully this will help. 10 to the minus 1 is just 0 0.1. 10 to the minus 4, so we're raising it to a bigger negative power, is 0 0.0001. So it's a much smaller number raised to a more negative power. So if we quickly look at the flip side of that now, so a low activation energy will lead to a high rate of reaction, more successful collisions per second, and so we would see that as a high rate constant. So if we look at the Arrhenius equation, how that shows that, the low EA means that this fraction, this power, is actually getting smaller because we've got a smaller number on the top being divided by these numbers here. So that means this power gets less negative and that's going to increase K. And again, I've just used the same powers, but flipped them over. So 10 to the minus four is that. Raising it to a less negative power gives us, actually gives us a bigger number. 
So we'll look at rate constant and temperature now, but before I go through it, if you want to have a think about it first, maybe pause the video and just do what I've done, but with temperature now. So ask yourself, how would K change with a high temperature? And how would K change if the temperature was lower? So we already know that a higher temperature leads to a higher rate of reaction, which means we've got a larger K. The Arrhenius equation shows us that because we're increasing the T term. So a larger T makes the fraction smaller, it's a bigger denominator. And so the power is getting less negative. So we've got that same argument before. 10 to the minus 4 is a lower number than 10 to the minus 1. And so the opposite of that, a lower temperature means a low rate of reaction and therefore a lower value for K. Into the Arrhenius equation, a low value for T makes the fraction bigger now. So we've got a more negative power and therefore we get a lower value for K as a result of that.